A clue to a new force? The emergence of anomalous gauge fields. UEQFT offers yet another bold prediction. The appearance of an unusual gauge. Field un not accounted for by the standard model of particle physics. It might be a new force one that doesn't even have a name yet. This hypothetical field arises from the rearrangement of entanglement structures. It behaves like a flow of information, acting as a new kind of field distinct from electromagnetism or the strong force. And unlike those familiar forces, this new field could mediate interactions based on entanglement-driven dynamics. If this field is real, it may help explain subtle anomalies that existing detectors have struggled to make sense of such as unexpected oscillations, slight mass shifts, or hidden asymmetries in electromagnetic environments. The oracle in the lab lattice QCD and entanglement numerics. One of UEQFT's major strengths is that it lends itself to numerical calculations. Lattice QCD is a method that models quantum chromodynamics QCD on a discrete spacetime lattice. To understand the strong nuclear force, interestingly, these computations naturally incorporate patterns that are closely tied to entanglement entropy. By comparing these values, we can actually see how entanglement influences real physical quantities. So this theory is a kind of mathematical oracle, too. Sujin nodded with a smile. Yes, we make predictions through the language of theory and then verify them through experiment and numerical analysis. Testable physics, verifiable philosophy. As the lecture neared its end, Sujin showed her final slide. A single quote was displayed on the screen. The universe is a poem written in entanglement, and we are reading that poem aloud in the laboratory. The room fell silent before a warm round of applause. Some people remained deep in thought. Others were already typing notes into their smartphones. As Sujin stepped down from the stage, she spoke softly to herself. Now, this theory has begun to entangle itself. In people's minds as well. She no longer had any doubt. UEQFT was no longer just a string of abstract equations. It had become a new grammar for describing the cosmos. And that grammar was now emerging as a testable, empirical language. In the real world, 